guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make these cute and fun pencil cases or makeup bags. If you're not already subscribed, please do so for more fun DIYs. The first one I'm going to show you is the Bubble Yum. You will need some sort of square box. I'm using this cracker box. I'm just going to cut off the flaps on both ends. The next thing you will want to do is draw a line down the middle and then cut that out. Then you will need a zipper. You will just hot glue it as you see me doing here. When you have your zipper glued to the box, then you can just cut off any excess. Then I just traced around the box onto a piece of white paper, cut that out, then I cut out a piece of foam board from that. I hot glued around the foam board and stuck that into the end of the box. I did this for both sides. Once I had the square in place, I then just hot glued around the edges to make it a little more secure. You will want to repeat this process for the other end of the box. Next, I just cut out a piece of pink fabric that was big enough to go around the box. We will be wrapping this box like you would wrap a present. Once I had my desired length, I then folded over the edges to give it a crisp and clean look. When I had them how I, how I liked them, then I just hot glued those down. The next step is to mark off the edges of the box, as you see me doing here. Then I took this inkjet transfer paper, I printed out my image onto that. Make sure you use the mirror image setting. I pressed it onto the fabric according to the instructions. Then I placed my box so it was in the center made sure that the fabric fit around and the logo was in the center. Then I hot glue gunned the ends to the box. Now for the ends, we are just going to act like we are wrapping a present to fill the gap you will just want to cross the right side over to the left and the left over to the right and secure that with hot glue like you see me doing here. Once you have those secure, then just finish folding in your edges. Repeat the same process for the other end. And here you have your Bubble Yum pencil case or makeup box. You can now add your pens and your pencils, or you can add your makeup if you would like. 
Now I'm going to show you how to make the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup bag. You will need the inkjet transfer paper and some orange fabric. You will need a 9 by 12 sheet of orange fabric cut in half and transfer paper cut out like you see here. Iron the transfer on according to the package instructions. Now fold in the edges like we did before to give a crisp and clean look to the edges. Do that on both pieces. Then you will want to glue those to your zipper as you see me doing here. Now unzip the zipper and glue your fabric like I am doing. Fold over and wait for the glue to dry. Once it's dried, turn your bag inside out and there you have your Reese's Peanut Butter Cup bag. The next one I'm going to show you is probably better suited for a makeup bag but can still be used as a pencil case as it is a little bit bigger. For this one, I'm using a oatmeal container. I'm going to cut off the top rim part and then I will also cut off the bottom. Make sure to save the bottom because we will be using that later on. Now you will just want to cut the oatmeal container like this. Then take a piece of orange fabric and mark a half an inch in like you see me doing here. Cut that out. Now you will need two pieces of blue fabric. Fold the ends in to give it a clean look. Hot glue that down. Then glue the yellow to the top of the blue as I am doing. Repeat that process on the other side. When you have all those pieces glued together, you can just set this aside, grab your container and a zipper, and now I'm just going to show you how to glue the zipper down. When the zipper has dried, then you will want to grab the bottom of the container that we cut out earlier, hot glue around that like we did for the square box. I did the same thing of applying hot glue just so it was a little more secure. Then I cut out a piece of foam and applied the same procedure to the other side of the container. I used inkjet transfer paper to cut to mirror out the image. 
I cut that out, pressed it on according to the instructions. The next step I did was to give the edges a clean look. I measured it out to my container, hot glued the edges down. When I had those edges glued down, I then secured those to the container and the zipper. I applied a little bit of hot glue to the edge like you see me doing here on both sides. I then cinched in the blue fabric and wrapped a rubber band around that. I repeated that process on the other side. I then got two strips of blue fabric, folded those over, glued those together. I placed those around the rubber bands. I then cut off some of the excess blue from the side. And there you have your double bubble pencil or makeup bag. The last one I'm going to show you is the Gummy Worms bag. You will need some inkjet fabric sheets. Print out a gummy worm pitcher onto that and a piece of felt. Peel off the fabric sheet. Place that onto your felt. Then glue that to the felt. Fold that in half and then cut it. Now if you have any ends that need to be trimmed, go ahead and trim those off. Apply some hot glue to the end again to give it a clean look. Do that for both pieces, then glue those to the zipper. Once that is secured to the zipper, go ahead unzip the zipper, then glue around the edges. Fold the two halves together, let the glue dry, then turn your bag inside out, and there is your gummy worm bag. I hope you enjoyed all these fun ways to make candy bag pencil cases or makeup bags. Please remember to check out my candy pens video. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, have a great day, guys.